Okay, we're continuing the 2011 series on testosterone. We, I, we just, I just did a piece on uh, the, the human menopausal gonadotropin versus HCG from urine versus from pregnant women versus urine of uh, menopausal women, and I explained the differences that uh, the menopausal urine is much better in the terms that it's pure LH and FSH, and LH is what turns on the lytic cells in the testicles to make you secrete and make uh, testosterone and then testosterone turns around and makes semi cells to make sperm but then you, now you've got a combination of FSH which goes directly talking to these Sertoli cells to stimulate sperm production and you got LH talking to your lighting cells so therefore you've got a really good system of maintaining fertility and you can do this let's say if you are medically need to be on testosterone it's a way to kind of decrease the chance of becoming sterile and total testosterone shutdown production. Now I really want to talk about something interesting it's called Ovidrill. There's nothing really that magic about Ovidrill, but it's Ovidrill is the trade name for recombinant human chorionic gonadotropin. It is something used a lot in the fertility world, but not very much in the, let's say, the area of andrology, which is male health. Uh, however, I think you sh everybody, well, you should be aware of it because Ovidrill uh, is basically pure uh, alpha unit of human chorionic gonadotropin. The beta unit we know doesn't do much. The alpha unit is the one that is the one that's really active. It's like pure LH. It has some sort of FSH relationship and and uh, and some uh, maybe TSH. But really, it's the key factor. It's the luteinizing hormone, which is pure luteinizing hormone and nothing else. Or it's HCG, like the like the uh, pregnil the Nova, Novadrel, Novarel, I mean, but it's pure. I mean, how, what do I mean by recombinant human chorionic gonadotropin? Recombinant meaning you're taking a group of cells and you're engineering those cells to, to basically express or make human gonadotropin equivalent to what your body makes, but only making that alpha unit, which is the pure unit, because you don't need the beta unit. You need the alpha unit because that's the pure one that really works. So, Ovidrel are also known as recombinant, meaning it's, it's synthetically actually, but it's natural, equal to like growth hormone. It's also a recombinant process. We don't take it from cadavers anymore. We, we make it in the laboratory just the way we, but it's equal to what the body makes. So it's, quotes, made in the lab, but it's still equal to what your body makes. And it's more pure because HCG itself from urine, pregnant urine, is not even close to being really pure LH. So this is a wonderful part of it. So how does Ovidrill come? It comes in a vial of 250 micrograms, and that's about equal to 6,000 units, let's say, of HCG. What I have some of my patients do, you take that, and the cost of this is about $90 to $100, which is not that bad, because just, let's say, Novaril or Pregnil or, you know, traditional HCG is about maybe even $200. So you take that one half cc, put in three and a half cc's of bacteriostatic water, and now you have four mLs of pure um, HCG, which is pure, like luteinizing hormone, so to speak. So it's pure alpha unit. And then what you take is you would take like a one-tenth out, which would be, so one mL would be equal to about 62 units. You only need about one-tenth of an mL, because it's much more potent than HCG, which is like, you know, 6.2 micrograms, and inject that every two to three days you will see compared to regular HCG that this product is much more pure in the sense of greater uh, responsiveness in terms of increasing your testicle size, volume, more ejaculate, more sperm count, and the cost surprisingly uh, so far it's been reasonable in the area of you know hundred dollars and you can actually get out of a bottle over like like I think about 40 shots if you, if you use the we use four mil that divided by 0.10 is like 40 injections. And the other thing that's nice about this, if you keep it in the refrigerator uh, unopened, it lasts more than 30 days. Now if you mix it, and you can also keep it like outside, but if you mix it, you can also keep it outside, but it'll only last for 30 days. But whereas regular HCG, once you mix, uh, it's only good for 30 days. But this stuff is already pre-mixed. So it's made by Serono, which is a division of Merck Corporation. 
Uh, so if you want any more information on Overdrill, known as RHCG, Recombinant Human Chorionic Gonadotropin. It has a unique place in the world of fertility, male health, and um, I say the whole area of male sexual health, andrology, which is male, male wellness and health. I'd recommend you, uh, you can send me an email at k-u-l-l-i-s-m-d at gmail.com or go to my website, I don't have it posted yet, but will soon, uh, which is uh, www.drkarlis, Carlos Ulis, Dot com. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's basically www.drcarlosulis.com. That's it. So a DR part instead of doctor. So if you have any questions, just go ahead and email me at, or go to my website, k, okay, kulismd at uh, gmail.com. So thank you for listening, and we will keep pursuing this topic of testosterone and all the different things that go into better sexual health for men because there's so many men out there I see all the time with low testosterone syndrome, they feel lousy, crappy, tired, fatigued, memory problems, just life is not, not fun for these men. So there are ways to make your life more rich and, and healthy, have better relationships through getting normal testosterone and testicular function. Thank you for listening.